Every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Good afternoon guys. So I told you there was going to be lots of shopping vlogs and I am popping in to Louis Vuitton very quickly because my amazing sales associate got the game on collection early. So I asked if I could go in, do a quick vlog and hopefully have this video uploaded ASAP for you to have a look. So I'm going to take you guys with me. If you do like Louis Vuitton shopping vlogs, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Excuse me if the sound isn't as good. I am missing my microphone, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity because you guys told me that you want to see LV shopping vlogs. And when you guys want something, I will try and deliver as much as I can. So I will catch you in a bit. Take my hand. And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do. So let me introduce you to the Cruise 2021 collection, which is called Game On. So this collection definitely is inspired by the deck of cards. So you'll see in each of the pieces that each of them sort of sport like a heart-shaped logo and it's in colors of red, white, blue, and the monogram flowers are mixed in with the four suits. So the heart, spades, diamonds, or clubs. So this collection is definitely very playful, very eclectic, but certainly not for everyone. So let's have a look. So this is the Dauphine. So it's got the motif up the front and it's got the playing card at the back. So this is, all these playing cards are actually pockets. So if you had a phone, it absolutely does slide into there. I think I still prefer the normal Dauphine better. Have a look. Actually, I'll go in here. So this is what the dice looks like. Very, very different. So let's take a close up look. I love that this square bag actually lends itself perfectly to the dice, what looks like an oversized dice. And you can see the symbols, which represents the playing cards crossed with the monogram flowers. I just think it's a very, very unique piece. This is the Neverfull. You guys know I'm not a, normally a huge fan of the Neverfull, but I'm kind of liking this white. Again, it actually comes in the black. What do you guys think? Black and white. Which do you like better? Comment below. And the Neverfull also comes in this design here. Personally, I think it is too busy i think they went a little bit too overboard this side i don't mind so much with the motif and the spade shape but still not a fan and then looking at this speedy it does give me sort of retro vibes with the white blue and red again not a fan of this speedy either but the never fall in real life does not look as obnoxious as it does in pictures I also forgot to show you the inside of the Neverfall. So inside the black, overall black monogram Neverfall, there is actually a blue pouch. And in the inside of the white monogram Neverfall, there is a red pouch, which looks like, you know, a playing card. Now, I kind of wish that the pouch was just all over plain and matching the outer. And definitely the outer of this, you know, multicolor white and multicolor black does give me you know like the Takashi Murakami vibes when they did the OG or the original multicolor range which I personally love I would love to add more so maybe that's why I quite like the Neverfall in the multicolor whether it's the black or the white so I'm not usually a you know wok kind of person but 
This one definitely fits a phone and you can take this little SLG out, which I actually really quite like that. And so this, this is the pochette police. So here are some of the SLGs. This is cute, this playing card, you know, card holder, if you like that. And this is the Zoe Zippy wallet. And I do like that it's got the LV tab, zipper tab. And then this is the longer wallet, if you did want a longer wallet. And then what else? A little cosmetic pouch, of course the toiletry 26, which I believe has been quite popular as well. I'm gonna try that on, the swimming suit. Then they've got the bandeau, scarf, and... I'll show you some of the ready to wear, which my fabulous sales associate set up for me. So some t-shirts. So just jumping in here whilst I'm editing. Yeah, this collection is very busy. If you love hearts and you want a piece, maybe a t-shirt if you really like it. I think it's just a bit too full on. I don't mind it in SLGs. I think it's a bit of fun or maybe even a bag, but Clothing, mm, not really for me. This skirt is more my cup of tea. I think especially with the ready to wear, it gives me sort of Alice in Wonderland, Queen of Heart vibes. So no for me. Here is the key ball. The toiletry is quite cute as a clutch. Hearts on one side and then the flower motif and hearts on this side. I like this side better. Look how matchy I am with the whole Game On collection today. Okay, so what I'm holding is called the Panam Game On set, I believe. So yes, you do get two bags. You can wear them separately or together, which that's how they've styled it on the model. To be honest, I don't like this bag at all, especially the one with all the four hearts. The other one is not too bad. Another one I'm not a fan of at all is this twist. I just don't like the four hearts. It's just a bit too childish for me. This is relatively new as well. I guess it's like the updated Teddy collection. I don't know, just the color combination I'm not a fan of. I do like shielding and it does give me aviator vibes, but it's just a very seasonal bag. Also here is the mini couple scenes. I was really underwhelmed with this. I thought I would really like um, this bag since I love my couple scenes BB so much. But I have to admit I wasn't a fan. And that green is actually not even real malachite. The Mother of Pearl one is not too bad though. So I'm just trying on one of the t-shirts for fun. Um, personally not my cup of tea. But if you want... Something a bit fun, it's a bit loose. I do like this skirt though, this A-line skirt. It's like in wool and it's this one is too big for me. But I like the back detail on it. So yeah, kind of doesn't suit me very much. So there you have it guys. There is a quick look at the Game On collection. Yeah, ready to wear, personally not a fan of. But I do quite like this boot here. I like the heel detail, but they do have a few shoes in the Game On collection as well. So to end off on a positive note, what pieces am I considering? Definitely this Kirigami pouch, which didn't hit yet. I think Australia is getting very, very, very limited number of these, I believe. Check with your sales associate. But I do think this is quite cute. And I think the hottest bag of the whole range which I believe, again, is super, super hard to get. I think Australia is only getting minimal as well, is the heart bag. Look, it's not for everyone as well, but I just, I don't know why, it just kind of appeals to me. Again, I think it's a love it bag or hate it bag, but 
I kind of just like that it's plain monogram. It's just got the little red love heart with LV. A surprise for me was definitely the Neverfull. It looks much better on than off and much nicer in real life. So this is a little fun collection. I do think it is definitely not for everyone. If you weren't sure but you wanted to add a piece, I suggest you going for a small leather good. I do think it's quite cute in a small leather good like the Zoe wallet or even that cosmetic pouch or even that uh, playing card that acts like a card holder. So is it game on or game off for you? So what did you think of the Game On collection? To be honest guys, it is actually better in real life than in photos because when I looked at the photos, I was like, oh, too much, too loud, too over the top, too high key. But surprisingly, a couple of pieces I don't mind. Comment below, are you getting anything from this collection? What was your favorite piece? So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope you liked this short and quick vlog. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. I've got a little giveaway coming up for you guys. It's holiday season. I'm gonna try to do as many giveaways as I can, if possible. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Melbourne's like raining at the moment. Seriously, yesterday was 30 degrees, today's like, 16 degrees but anyway i'm appreciative we can be out and for everyone else please do stay safe big kisses and i will catch you soon bye guys